new Maxpedition Duality. Uh, one of the things about the Maxpedition packs, especially the Versa pack line or the Gear Slinger, is it has one sling system. And you know, a lot of people are like, well, I like that for temporary, but I'd really like something more of a backpack. And I think that the Duality hit the best of both worlds. It does a standard backpack, and then you zip it up, and you can make it into a gear slinger just to go over one shoulder. I find myself needing both. A lot of times if I have a backpack, I'll use one strap flipped over my shoulder. It tends to want to fall off a lot. This with the wider pad, even if I'm just laying it over one shoulder, it tends to hold up very well. Of course, this is in the new Gray Wolf color. I love this. Uh, I like the black, but it's almost too black. And this kind of does the Gray Man deal, which is pretty cool. It doesn't really look tactical, and yet it looks manly. It has three separate individual compartments, or main compartments. It's made from 1060 denier. Uh, it's really tough, Kodora, nylon, ballistic nylon, which is typical for your Maxpedition gear. It's really tough. Guys, I've had these packs, uh, different Maxpedition packs, six, seven years, and they look brand new. And I use them all the time. It has a DuPont Teflon finish on it, which really makes it easy to clean up. But what's even more important is that it's waterproof. And when I say waterproof, I mean the water just flows off of it. And as I was saying about waterproof, look at it. It just goes right off. Brush it off, you're ready to go. One thing you don't want to do is use any kind of detergent or anything to clean this. Just wipe it off. This doesn't have all the PALS webbing or the Molly compatible webbing all over it, but it does have large uh, Velcro or hook and loop patches right here and here. Uh, you know, you can put your different Velcro patches here. This is one of the Maxpedition flags, uh, but you can get different things to put on here. I love the shock cord that goes across here. Uh, it tightens down the pack. It helps compress it, and yet you can use it for placing outside gear on here as well. It does have some Molly webbing right here on the sides. Uh, for you to you know to be able to use that, but it's not covered in it. It has a great high tensile strength grab handle, and then you see the box etch stitching, and it's triple reinforced. I mean, these things are just solid. They're not going to come loose. Uh, and if you're in a dire situation, that is important. I tend, when I'm taking bags in and out of my vehicles and moving around, I tend to need a grab handle. The back is cushioned, and it's really nice. It's padded. Uh, it's stitched very well. Plus, this will keep you a little cooler than it would if it was just the ballistic uh, nylon, the Kodura. Now, these straps are really a big departure from what Maxpedition has done before. Uh, it has a zipper that runs right down the center. Uh, you know, you can use it as the backpack in this configuration uh, with the PALS webbing that goes all the way down. So there is a lot of area where PALS webbing is, but it's not just over the face of the pack. Here we have uh, fast text buckles in and out really quick. That way you can dismount this bag really fast. But the real key to this pack is right here at this zipper. Lock your zipper into place and you have a gear slinger. This can go just over your shoulder. It has a really wide pad. I was wearing this all day today uh, over my shoulder and it was much more comfortable than the standard Maxpedition uh, two inch uh, pad that goes on most of your gear slingers or your Versapax. And that really helps distribute the weight plus both are padded so it really kind of evens it out. Um, I, I was really impressed with this specifically. I mean, it was really nice. And again, I do like the Versapack, the versatility of the Versapack, but I really like the option of having a backpack as well. Uh, to me, again, I think this is like the best of both worlds, and that's why this pack is named Duality, because it fits dual roles. Now, if you want to go back to the single strap again, uh, you've got this extra piece that just hangs out. Right here in the sides, you can tuck this away, zip it up, your webbing's out of the way, and you have the single sling system. And of course, this can be changed to either side, so it's fully ambidextrous. Let's say you're carrying two or three packs. This way, you can carry one on your left, one on your right, even if you're right-handed. Of course, paracord pulls on all the zippers. Now, the front pouch itself is an admin pouch, and it is one of the drawbridge pouches. So it comes out, and it has these strings that will you can adjust this to wherever you want to keep it. Uh, and right here is your adjustment strap. So let's say I don't want this to just flop wide open. Uh, I can tighten this up and it'll keep the gear in here. Let's say I have my gear secured and I need to get to it. I want to undo this. I can do it. The, pa the pack will just go all the way out like this. Now I have it wide open. 
Now it has a nice little sleeve here to protect certain items uh, with your med kit. Have an AR500 Epic kit. Um, water filtration system. This is a Renovo Trio. And then I have a pad and uh, a pen. And that way I can keep all this separate from my other gear. One of the things about especially having organization is you know where your gear is. It's not just stuffed in the bottom of a pack. That's especially important like with small items like this. And of course I have my strapping that comes in. It's elastic strapping and there are larger loops behind here where I can put larger items. Uh, this knife was not even big enough to go back behind here. So there's really large items that you can put um, and you know having the versatility. And then this center area right here that you can keep other items that are loose that you might need to get to such as these gloves. Now this center pack is one that I specifically love. Uh, typically your concealed carry option had to go uh, back here. There was a zipper and you could just place your firearm in here with one of the universal holsters from Expedition. But this is a little bit different. It does have your standard pulls, but there's a little loop right here. Pull it down and you expose your concealed carry. This is a great way to get to something if you really need to. And not only that, I've also got an extra magazine right here as well. And really, to be honest, I could put more things down in there. And I highly recommend the Universal Holsters from Maxpedition. They're great. They can fit any different gun. Just like this little Smith & Wesson MMP 9 Compact. I mean, this is a great little gun. But let's say I want to carry something a little different. I can adjust my holster and I can go right to it. And then when I'm done being Batman, zip it up. Right here in the center, large. It goes down about a third of the way down. And, you know, there are different packs that you can put in here and ways to organize. Uh, this is the Skinny Organizer. I really like this. This is also a new pack uh, by Maxpedition, and it's got a lot of great features in it as well. Closes up, even has a mesh front pocket as well, and a Velcro loop. And, of course, the Team Such patch available at magplates.com. But as you can see, there's a lot of room here. Water bottle, my fire kit. SOS bars, my paracord, this is the spool tool. I've got a hoodie stuffed down in the bottom of this thing. So there's a lot of room in this pack. Plus, there's a sleeve right here. If I want to put a water bladder, I can put a small water bladder in here as well. And really, that was not filled up to the top. I could have packed this a lot closer if I had wanted to. All goes back in. One of the things, too, about Maxpedition, these zippers, uh, over the years, I have really packed some things out really tight and re grabbing a hold of these zippers. And I have learned that the zippers on this and the seams and the stitching will take whatever you, you can dish out. <laughs> now, as I've said, this is the wolf gray. There's a black, there's a khaki, there's a khaki foliage, and there's the dark brown. So some really cool colors for this. And this is something, again, you can use every day. You can go to the Maxpedition website, though, and check out all the details. There's a lot of specs about the size of the bag. I mean, you can see reference-wise about the size. It's a small pack, but yet, it's to me, it's the perfect size for tooling around. Not if you're camping, not if you're going on a bug out, but this, to me, is about the perfect size backpack. Now, the Maxpedition Duality is $133.50 for the pack. Um, it's well worth it, guys. I'm telling you, I've owned a lot of different packs. Maxpedition just makes the best. They're the toughest. And as they say, you buy cheap, you buy twice. Buy once, you can actually hand this thing down to your children. Maybe your children's children. But the great news is Maxpedition offers a 10% discount if you use Suit00 when you check out. And that's been a long-standing discount from Maxpedition. And a lot of you guys do buy Maxpedition bags because Tim tells me. These, I'm telling you guys, I'm a huge Maxpedition fan. And I wouldn't say so if it wasn't true. These things are excellent. Now, while I'm friends with Tim at Maxpedition and he does send me gear like this, these are not paid reviews. Guys, I love this gear, and when I say it, I mean it. This is some of the best gear on the market. The Maxpedition Duality Backpack. Thumbs way up. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And as they say, you buy cheap, you buy...
Now it's time to continue my adventure. Oh yeah, let me encourage you to get on your adventure. You guys still hanging around? Get out there and go on your adventure. Go, go, 